Hello everyone and welcome to another Moorside Valley Review. This time in this episode we are looking at the new balanced A4s. And you can see here I've got two, I'll explain why in a minute. This is the one I was sent by Dapol. This is 4468 Mallard in Ellen Yard Garter Blue. This is actually pre-preservation, but we'll look at that in a moment. But comes in its standard Dapol box. This other one is 4488 Union of South Africa in Ellen Yard Garter Blue. And this one was a limited edition from Gage Master. I believe you can now get this in a set with some T coaches and Kato track. But I got that one as a limited edition model. And there is differences between the two A4s. We'll look at that in a moment. Right now though, let's have a quick look. Take it out the outer cardboard sleeve. Your typical plastic box in there. Moving various bits of packing. Just pull this out of here. I personally don't like these little bits in the end, but it helps to stop it moving. I think we've got a bit too many of these packing pieces in, but whatever protects them. Usual accessories. This bit's your spare couplers, a little spanner for you. Drive sh um, for the wheels, traction tyres. There was a bag of magnetic couplers in there. I've put them somewhere else, I'm not quite sure where. Then move this, take it out, put that to one side, put this to one side. I'll also unpack this one, get them on the turntable, and have a close look, shall we? So here we are looking at Mallard on our turntable and I firstly on first impressions think absolutely stunning looking model. Probably could do with a bit of gloss to make it shine like the real things but apart from that as a ready to run model it's absolutely perfect. Mallard if you've been in the National Railway Museum doesn't have a corridor tender accurately portrayed on there. I said before this is a pre-preservation model. And what I mean by that is, there's no plaque down here on the side of the casing commemorating its 126 mile an hour run. So this is before it's obviously done that run. Uh, detailing wise, we've got all the little rivets, little cover holes which the driver would, or the crew would open up to, to get to the various oiling points. We've got all the detailing on the back, we've got steps, handrails, all sorts. Everything you'd expect from a Dapol model, all highly detailed. Now, originally when the Air Force came out as an unbalanced model, again they looked stunning, but if you looked directly from above you would have noticed the valve gear overhung the runner plate slightly, which made it a problem to add the valances on. And everyone was screaming they wanted a balanced Air Force. So Dapol finally worked it out and created the A4 but it had to come at a, comp at a compromise and that compromise you might just notice is quite a bit of valve gear is missing. When the locomotive is moving at a decent speed you can't really notice. Eagle eyed viewers who know the locomotives probably noticed just from that view there or from that view there, that there is a decent bit of valve gear missing. But if you want all the valve gear, you, you won't get the valances on. Not to a high detail model anyway. So it's just one or the other unfortunately, but I'm not complaining. Because most of the valve gear is hidden by the valances anyway. Um one thing we do still have obviously is the drive shaft. That is still under progress on moving on from those. Dapol are working quite hard on that, I know that much. The Battle of Britons that are under progress is the model they are aiming to have the first motor without the drive shaft in by Dapol. 
so eagerly waiting for that. Um, I also mentioned how this particular A4 was different to this one, and the, if you can, if it's picked up on the video, you might notice. Firstly, Mallard has the golden leaf version of the lettering and numbers. Union South Africa has the silver version with the emblem underneath the number. And as well as a cordial tender, which makes me believe that Union South Africa is done into coronation style. While Mallard is in just a typical A4 livery. But looking at them side by side, both excellent looking models. I have been running Union South Africa on the layout because unfortunately my lord didn't want to play ball. But Union South Africa has had a run on Moresdale, my smaller winter layout, as Moorside is still under a bit of cosmetic repairs to get ready for magazine appearances in Wally later this year. The A4s are also available in two other liveries. There's LNR Apple Green, which again looks absolutely stunning. And there is also the silver variation used on the silver jubilee services. Both stunning models, both will be added to my collection. In the meantime, let's have a look at Union South Africa running on Moresdale. So there we are, as you saw, especially on a rake of teaks, the mal this A4 looks absolutely stunning. Trundle and away at a nice decent slow speed for a heritage line. And imagine at higher speed it would also look just as good. Pretty quiet after running in, which I think the quality control is obviously getting better. The quality of these models are getting better. Um in terms of rating, it's still going to be 9 out of 10. Or, as long as we have drive shaft, we'll always lose a point, but 9 out of 10 is pretty good. And like I said, I do love this Valence Day 4. It does look absolutely stunning. Um, and only from the moment we ran it down at the Ingot show originally in 2015, even up to now, I've loved it every single time. And it's been well worth the wait in my opinion. If you haven't got one, go and get one, is my suggestion. Um, like I said, I can't wait for my, to get my hands on an apple green one or a silver one. There is a limited edition silver one from Model Barn, which I will be picking up. 
The apple green one, there's only one variant of that and that is golden fleece. But that's fine with me. But that's it for this review. Um, for those who are wondering about sound, you, you can sound fit them. Just check one of my videos of Sir Nigel Gresley with sound, the unbalanced day 4. You'll see what the sound's like. It's going to be no different than this, same tender. So, sound is capable in it. Worth the value, very high detailed. Worth every penny. Until the next time, bye for now.